Hi guys, salamat sa inyong patuloy na ginagawang pagsubaybay dito sa ating discussion. So, no? uh, ang magiging topic natin ngayon ay simple stress at magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng isa pang sample problem about uh, uh, simple stress. At ang problem natin guys ay ito, nagpakita natin sa ang problem. So, there is a member that is shown in the figure AC, this one which is subjected to a force of uh, a 3 kN. There is a vertical force of 3 kN acting at this position X from the bar AB. So we are required here to determine the position X of this force so that the average compressive stress at the smooth support C at the support is equal to the average tensile stress in the tie rod AB. Here's tie rod AB and it is said that the stress here will be equal to the average tensile stress in the rod. And we are required to solve for okay, this value of x. So the rod it has a cross-sectional area of 400 square millimeter, this rod. While the contact area at C, the contact area at the support, is given at 600 50k millimeter square. So, sa problem na ito, guys, ay pinapahanap, ano, again, itong value itong x na ito, na kung saan, eh, kung saan, ang uh, magiging resulta is that this uh, 3 kN will cause the stress in this uh, tie rod and this support to be equal. So, in order to start with the problem, okay, gaya ng malimit natin ginagawa, eh, magsimula tayo, ano, by drawing the free body diagram of the member AC. Here is our member AC. Let us try to redraw it again para makita natin. Ano? And let us try to show on this bar the different forces acting ano, on this bar okay, when, this, when this is isolated as free body diagram. So at this point A, okay, because there is a tie rod, so we would expect that there is a force, okay? that would be exerted by the tie rod upon this member AC. At dahil hindi natin alam kung ano yung kanyang magnitude, so we simply label that force by a symbol at tawagin natin na yung kanyang force has a magnitude equal to L sub AB. Okay? Somewhere at this point, okay, meron tayong force ano, na ang magnitude ay 3 kN. Okay? The distance of which is equal to x measured from the AA, from A. And at the support at C, okay, we expect that there is a reaction. Okay, okay uh, the total distance of which is 200 millimeter from point A. Okay. So, in here, kung mapapasin natin, we have here, okay, tatlong magiging unknowns. Ano, we have an unknown AB, uh, the force acting at C, and the position of the 3 kN load acting from A. And we apply here, ano? I apply natin ngayon yung condition of equilibrium. Unang condition of equilibrium na pwede natin i-apply is okay, the condition that the summation of forces vertical equal to zero. Kung gamitan natin ay yung kanyang upward force will be positive, Ano yung ating magiging equation? Ang magiging equation natin will be okay, yung force AB na ito plus force at C will be equal to 3 kN. Ano? So, sulat natin ito. So, you have F of AB plus F of C minus 3 kN is equal to 0. And then, let us call that this equation be our equation 1. Okay? The second equation that we can uh, formulate out of this uh, free body diagram is uh, the summation of moment about any axis and if we will select this uh, A as the moment center then we can say na yung summation of moment about A will be equal to zero and now uh, when we consider one direction to be positive assuming natin na yung clockwise will be positive our moment equation will become equal to the moment effect of this 3 kN okay, which will be producing a clockwise moment, hence positive, okay, minus the moment effect of this Fc, whose momentum is equal to 200. 
Okay, so that when we write that equation, we shall have here, okay, 3 kilonewton multiplied by x minus f of c multiplied by 200 shall be equal to 0. And uh, let us imagine that this is our second equation. So, mapasin natin doon sa condition of equilibrium na ginamit natin, okay, nakakuha tayo ngayon ng dalawang equation. Kaya lamang, ang ating kabuwang unknowns ay tatlo, di ba? Meron tayong FAB dito, meron tayong F FC, at meron tayong distance or the position of uh, the 3 kN load acting from A. So, we have three unknowns. So, we need to have additional equation in order to complete the number of unknowns to solve the system of linear equations. At saan siya mang gagaling? Kung mapapasin natin, meron binabanggit dito sa problem na sinabi dito, determine okay, the position of the position X, ano? So that the average compressive stress at the spot support C is equal to the average tensile stress in the tie rod. So, itong na condition na ito can be used, ano, can be used as additional equation. Kaya nga sabi dito, from the relation of the average stresses, binabanggit dito that the stress on the tie rod AB is equal to the stress on the support at C. Diba? Knowing that the stress can be computed using the ratio of the force divided by the area, then this equation can be translated into the force of AB divided by the area of AB shall be equal to the force on C divided by the area at C. And because we are given here, ano, the area of AB and C as indicated in this uh, problem, we have 400 for AB and 600 for C, then we can substitute the area. And then from there, we can uh, get another relation between F of AB and F of C so that F of AB is to 400, 400 is equal to the ratio of F of C is to 650. Kaya dito sa equation na ito, makakakuha tayo ng relation that yung F of AB natin is equal to 0 0.615 of F of C. Or, if we wanted, we can express F of C to be equal to 1.625 of F of AB. Now, what shall we do with this? If, this, uh, if the, any of these two will be substituted in either equation 1 or 2, ano, then we can uh, come up and we can solve for FAB and F of C. So, assume natin that we substitute this FC, ano, itong FC natin in equation 1. Here is our equation 1. Okay, we substitute that okay, and we write it here. Napakita natin siya dito. Ano. So, sabi natin dito, ito yung ating original equation that we have F of AB plus F of C minus 3 kN is equal to 0. If F sub C, which is equal to 1.625, is sub of F of AB is substituted in this equation, then our equation becomes F of AB plus 1.625 of AB minus 3 is equal to 0. And so from here, we can compute for the value of F of AB. And that, the value of F of AB will be equal to 1.140 kilonewton. So, after we have computed for this F of AB, pwede natin ibalik ito dito sa ating okay, na-compute na okay, F of C. Diba? And so, from here, we can say that okay, F of C being equal to 1.625 of F of AB, isubstitute natin itong nakuha natin value. Therefore, our F of C will be equal to 1.857. And then, since we are looking for the value of x, diba? We, we are looking for the value of x. Then, if we, we substitute f of a, b, and f of c in the third, or in, in the second equation, therefore, what shall we do? We can now compute for the value of x. So, we substitute natin, ano, f of c in equation 2, and then solve for, okay, x. So, we shall have here, okay, the value. We have 3 kN multiplied by x, Minus F of C multiplied by 200 is equal to 0. Since F of C is computed to be 1.857, so we substitute that value. And from here, masolve natin yung value na X to be 124 millimeter. Sana guys, sa pamagitan ng problem na pinakita ko sa inyo ay mas lalo ninyong naintindihan ang konsepto about simple stress.
Kaya naman huwag niyo akong iwan guys, patuloy niyo akong subaybayan by subscribing to this channel para naman sa mga susunod nating discussions ay lagi kayong na-inform. Once again guys, thank you for watching.